G'day. So I've been playing around with Gary's FG Sprint. So this is a relatively stockish looking car and um, you know, it makes like 640, 635, you know, sort of kilowatts at the hubs. And as you can see, it's relatively stockish looking. So don't be fooled. It's got a high flow turbo charger on it. Um, you know, intercooler. It's got all the all the parts in it, built transmission, IMS diff hat, um, widened rear wheels, four inch exhaust system. Um, it's got everything. And the coolest part about this car, it is 100% engineered. This thing has gone through the pits. It's done the emission testing. It's done everything. It is 100% legal, fully engineered. Now that's cool. So Gary got defected, um, a while ago, unfortunately he was speeding and the coppers just went the hack on him and basically made him go through the pits and it wasn't looking like we we're ever gonna get this car registered again, but Gary, with the help of the guys at DSR um, and a lot of running around um, and a lot of research and so on, he got this car um, engineered. So that, that's sort of like the backstory to it, which is really cool. So, but, um, what we've been working on is we've put an external wastegate on the car now and it's welded to the housing which if you've been following you would see that i've been putting some photos up of it because we've been doing some development work and um we've set all the boost up and like happy as with it it's working really good um but we've been struggling to get this car into the nines so i've spent the day dialing in the transmission on the hub dyno and doing all the shifts and this is sort of what i just want to touch base on so we're um We've got it dialed now to shift at 6,800 revs automatically. Um, so he won't be shifting anymore. He, he will just put it into first gear and the car's going to do exactly what we've programmed it to do. So as you can see, two, three shift, three, four, four, five, um, and one, two, one, two, we're shifting it just a little bit early. Um, and this is our this is our torque line through here. So, you know, that's that's a thousand newton meters there, that's 900 newton meters there. If you're gonna draw an average for it, let's say it's got an average of 920 newton meters, and it works out to be an average of say 620, 625 kilowatts across the whole lot. So we, we put a bit of time into getting the converter lock up and the transmission shifting exactly where we want it to. And yeah, like I'm yeah really happy with the results. This is the best part about the hub dyno is that you can do that. Um, I was even using the trans rake and doing full launches. It's pretty violent, but yeah, look, it's we just got to test the car, and you just can't do this out in the street anymore. So, but um, but you can see there, like that's the boost. That's the boost there. So you know, nice and flatish. You know, boost curve. You got to consider it is changing gears and so on. Um, Twenty eight pound of boost. It did see like a. A flare of 29 but you know on the gear changes you're doing a lot of a lot of spark and ignition retard so you do get a bit of a boost flare between the gear changes which is just part and parcel of it um there's no damage that's going to be caused from it doing that it's just the way it is you've got to break the engine torque which is as you can see here as the engine torque comes up and then you see the dip in engine torque and then back on again and then dip in engine torque again and that's that's the trick to getting these transmissions to survive is making sure you break enough engine torque to allow it to go into gear. Um, a lot of these new transmissions, if you remove the, the torque reductions in them, um, you will break them straight away. And a lot of people who tune these Falcons make that mistake with the ZF. They get in there all cow cowboy spec and start flicking all the switches and turning torque reductions off and stuff like that. And I can tell you now, it, it's that is the best way to break a ZF transmission, you know, pretty much guaranteed to break it straight away. So, but, um, yeah, I thought I'd just do a little video on this. I'll put a few photos of our wastegate and all that sort of stuff in the clip as well. Um, and I've got some some footage of the car and the dyno going through the gears, which is really cool. But um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I, I enjoy doing this one. I came in on Saturday to finish this one off. So um, I thought, you know, this is a good one just to put up and show you guys and do a bit of explanation on the gear shifting and the external wastegate and you know, all that sort of stuff. So um, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something from it. And for the guys out there who are turning all the torque reductions off, I suggest you don't um, because that's why you're breaking transmissions. But anyway, um, have a good day and we'll um, yeah see you next time. Catch you guys.